I'm Catherine. And I'm Chrissy. And we are Travelling Gleefully. <laughs> can't tell but we're in Donegal today yes um, we're in Donegal town which is in Donegal yes, County Donegal town. we're only here for the day um because Chrissy's family is from here yeah not from like here here but, but this was this was the closest place we could come we're not even like meeting up with anyone we just wanted to come and see what it was like so we're on currently it's called um the bank walk so we're just like walking along the base of the river which is down here in the sun um out to the harbour and it's so beautiful. This walk is so cool because there's like, it's like a fairy walk. I think that's what I saw a sign said, but yeah, like an, almost every door, damn it, I saw a door on almost every tree. There's like little doors. Yeah, it's so cute. I filmed some of them, so I'll put them in in a second. And there's like, we just saw um, like faces carved out of wood. And I saw a thing earlier that was like a little mailbox that said fairy post and it's so cute it's so nice it's also just like a really nice nature walk yeah it is we're looking out over donegal bay um which is very dry when the tide is out it's like bone dry it's just like a mud pit yeah there's um boat tours that go in the afternoon so the tide should be coming back in and we're thinking we might do one we're also um right next to donegal abbey or well, the ruins of donegal abbey so we're gonna go check that out guys incredible realization i was just walking around the abbey you can see all this long grass it's really hot it's sunny i was getting a bit panicked about snakes i don't have to worry island doesn't have any I can just frolic in the grass. I mean, they still have other insects. I can put my things. I can put my hands in logs. I can shove my face into long grass. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What an incredible country. I'll update you when she gets a test bite. <laughs> it's been a few hours. We went back to our accommodation to have some lunch. Um, and Catherine's not feeling great, so she decided to stay and have a rest um, for our boat trip tonight. Um, and I have come to Donegal Castle, which is like two minutes from where we're staying, um, to have a look around. So this castle is kind of cool because it was originally built in like the 1500s. Um, there's models of it like in the castle. So this is roughly what it would look like in the 1500s, just with um this one uh, where are we this one tower on the corner and then this building here and then the original owners partially destroyed it when they left to prevent other people from using it later um but obviously that didn't work very well and then someone took over it in the 1600s um and kind of added bits so they added some height to this one and then added this whole building here it's kind of cool because it was kind of left in ruins for a while and then taken over um, by the government to kind of restore it and rebuild it. So like this roof that's above me um, is relatively new and like there's new staircases and stuff in, but there's still a couple of old original staircases. Um, and in one section down the bottom that I'm going back to now, um, there's one section where they've rebuilt the roof and then one section where the roof is still original, which is very cool. All right, so I'm down in the like, um, cellar. I mean, it's not really a cellar, it's ground level, but like the storage room. And this cobblestone floor um, was from the 1500s, um, so the 1400s, when it was originally built, but it was restored in the restoration process. But this roof that's above me, this is the one that's original. I'll see if I can get a spot with good lighting. There you go. So that's like the original roof. Um, but then in this half of the room, through the archway, it's just, I don't know if you can really see it. It's just like a wooden roof that they put in, in the restoration process. We've been reunited. We are getting ready for our boat tour. Um, and as you can see behind us, it does in fact fill up, fill up yeah. enough for a boat. It's actually full of water. Yeah. Which like, I mean, obviously we know how tides work. Yeah. It just looked really empty. Yeah, it was so empty before. So 
Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. We're just doing a like, it's like an hour and 15 minute little cruise where they just like kind of go out into the harbour and then back. But they like show you all these cool things from the, like from the water. I think just like artifacts and stuff. Yeah. Um, and also go past the seal colony. So fingers so crossed we see some seals. Hopefully we see some seals. That would be cool. dinner um, after our boat trip but the boat trip was quite interesting it was just like kind of out into the estuary and back but we learned a lot about like the landscape and the kind of history of the area and how it's used now which is cool but we are heading back to our B&B now um, wait we forgot the important thing we saw seals oh yeah I tried to film them I don't know if you want to see them because they, yeah, they, they were kind of far away kind of far away um, but they were very cute. There was just like a whole colony of them. And then there was like quite a few in the water like popping their heads up and yeah, it was very cute. Um, but yes, we're heading back to our B&B now and then tomorrow morning we are heading off to Galway, which is very exciting. It is. Good morning from our first day in Galway and huge day. She's in shorts. Shorts And are. so am I. Oh my god, this is huge. This is literally the first time we have gotten the shorts out since Dubai. I know, it's in been... In December, and it is yeah. huge. It's literally been almost six months That's since we've worn crazy. shorts. And if you look at the colour of my legs, you can yeah, tell. You can tell. <laughs> um, but that is okay because summer is finally here. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We're going to spend the day exploring Galway, and we are so excited. We are. We're just walking through the Latin Quarter of Galway and it's so cute. There's so many like really cute little shops along the way. Also, we have become aware of how much we've said cute, but like how else do you describe it? I don't know. It's like, really cool. It's really nice. It's very nice. Um, and there's also like a lot of pubs and restaurants. So I imagine there's this so is like popping in the evening. Yeah. So this building behind Catherine, this one, which is currently a bank, is actually Galway Castle. Like it's the, what did it say? 16th century castle. It's very like not castle looking. Like yeah. you literally walk past it and Chrissy was like, where's the castle? And I was like, let me Google it. And then I was like, oh, it's that. Yeah, it's- You <laughs> would never know. It's kind of interesting. Once you know, you can kind of see that tower yeah. is castle-like, but it's just in the middle of the city and it's, it's just a bank. That's so funny. It's just so weird. because it's like on the coast um, and so it gets all the like Atlantic fishing so we're having fish and chips for lunch so excited. we have finished our fish and chips and now we're making ourselves feel better about it by going on a walk <laughs> so we are walking out to a place called Salt Hill I believe yeah um, where a lot of people swim and there's like a diving board and stuff which where we could we could have swum it's definitely warm enough but yeah. we didn't want to like be carrying swimmers and towels around and stuff. yeah but I've also just read it's like a lovely area. I think there's like a promenade and we can see a Ferris wheel up ahead. So I think it'll be a nice place to go. And it's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's, we were saying it's really interesting. Like it's beautiful and like you can see all like the coastline out behind us, but there are no trees. No trees, it's so weird. So it's really sunny. Yeah, very sunny and hot and there's no shade. <laughs> yeah. But it is very nice, the view is beautiful. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It is day two in Galway, um, but we are actually out on a day trip today. Kind um, of a last minute plan. <laughs> yes, we booked it like the day we arrived in Galway um, because we decided we did, in fact, want to see the Cliffs of Moher. So. We're off to do that and a number of other things today. So we're at our first stop of the day, which is Dungwe. That's probably wrong, <laughs> but I'll put it on the screen. Um, castle, which you can see behind us, which is a medieval castle. It's not huge. No, it's pretty small. Um, but we're gonna go have a look around. The landscapes out here are so stunning. 
Everything's so green. Like all the like it is really green, but like all the water as well. Like it's just so nice. And it looks quite different from home, which is interesting. I don't know if you can see the like mountains along the top here. So but cool. it's very nice. next stop which is just like a little rest stop along the coast it's called Doolin the, the little town is Doolin but yeah. we're like on the on just the coast side of it, yeah um, and all the ground you can see like behind Catherine it's all like a limestone and it's all like eroded at different rates so it's very tricky to walk on it is um, but we had to come down to the water because we had never touched the Atlantic Ocean before <laughs> and now we have stuff, yeah um, we are not going in, it's a bit chilly, but we just stuck our hands in so that we could say, we've touched it. <laughs> we made it to the cliffs. They are so cool. Like, they are beautiful. It's, I mean, you can see them on the camera, obviously, but like the scale of them is insane. It's crazy. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them, but there's like hundreds of birds mm. like flying around along the cliff edge. Little face. Sorry. <laughs> um, there's like hundreds of birds along the edge. Um, that really kind of put into, put into perspective like how big they are. It's insane. back in Galway after our tour it was very interesting and in the like on the way back we drove through a town which I didn't film because we didn't stop um, but it's a town that has like a singles week event um, every year in September which we actually knew about because it's mentioned in Schitt's Creek um, so if you also watch Schitt's Creek and didn't think that the town mentioned was real yeah. like I didn't think it was real turns out it is turns out it is um, but yes, we are back in Galway, but it's our last night in Galway now. Um, we are heading to Cork tomorrow for a few days, yep. um, which we're excited for. And we're just going to tap onto this video. Nice buskers. There are. Makes it difficult to film. Um, we're just going to tap Cork onto this video because I'm not sure how much we'll actually get up to there. We're going to do a lot of relaxing. Um, but. We have really enjoyed Galway. Yeah, Galway is beautiful. It's so nice. Especially the street we're on now. Yes, we're back on, we're back in the Latin Quarter. So cool. So much going on. Yeah. Especially now on a, it's only a, it's a Wednesday night, but like there's still a lot going on. Um, but we will see you in Cork tomorrow. See you in Cork. Hello from Cork. Good morning. We made it yesterday. It was an ordeal. It was a struggle. But that's fine. We made it. Long story short, there were train delays. Um, and then we didn't realize that our place was up the top of a very steep hill. And then we couldn't check in on time. <laughs> yes. But we are here. We are in Cork. Oh, traveling. And it looks beautiful. We're up on the hill that we're staying on. But at least that means we have this like incredible view of the city. It's true. As we're like walking down. Um, so we're going to go explore Cork for a couple of days. So we spent the morning walking around Cork and we didn't film a whole lot because honestly we're not really vibing Cork. We aren't vibing it guys. It's just... <laughs> Like, it's just a city. Like, it's not... There's nothing special that we've found so far. Yeah. There's nothing against Cork. Yeah. Maybe we're not, like, looking in the right places, but 
I also think our Airbnb isn't helping. No, we don't love it. No, we don't love it. But I think, I mean, we have booked so many Airbnbs that we're always going to. There was always going to be a dud. Yeah, there was. I feel like we feel so uncomfortable, which is hard. Like the place that you're supposed to like spend the nights and like have all your stuff and spend your free time. Like when you don't feel comfortable there, it's like, it just affects the whole atmosphere of the entire place. Like yeah. we don't love Cork because we don't have a comfortable place to go back to. Yeah. But tomorrow, well, there's a garden and then there's a castle and like a nice walk along the water that we're going to do in the next couple of days. So hopefully those are nice and they change our minds about Cork. But so far, not a vibe. Not the best, but that's okay. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Good afternoon from day two of Cork. Yes, we um, video called my parents this morning, so we didn't really come out until the afternoon. Yeah, plus we're still not like, we're not in the highest of vibes at the moment. Yeah. So we just laid in bed for a while. Um, but it's picked up a bit today because we came to a park that I just like simply wanted to come to because we oh, like parks. But yeah. there's like a science festival here. Yeah, it's really fun. There's like a bunch of different like <laughs> science departments of unis like have stalls around. And then there's one that we were just at. There's like a little animal thing. Yeah, this got. one back here has like snakes and lizards and a tortoise a and bun. bunnies and a tarantula, which I wasn't driving. Yeah, I think because we're literally across the road from um, Cork Uni. So they've just like set themselves a little festival in the park and it's so cute so I think we'll just wander around here a little bit for the rest of the day hopefully it'll hopefully it'll lift our spirits a bit yeah <laughs> all right excuse how we look because <laughs> we're halfway through a walk so we're a little sweaty um but we just stopped at the marina market this is called day three by the way yeah hello <laughs> um yeah we're at the marina market which is so cool we didn't really know it was here no we were just on a walk to a castle that's like on the water and then we passed by this because we saw people coming in and it's so cool yeah i just thought it was gonna be like a fish market so did i um but it's like food there's a couple like jewelry places but it's mostly food um and it's so cool we kind of wish we'd come here for lunch yeah I know. but we had lunch before <laughs> starting our at least walk. it's more expensive than where we ate lunch so that's making me yeah, um, but it's very cool. So if you're in Cork, definitely check out the Marina Market. Yeah. I wish we'd known about this earlier. Guys, I feel like the vibe is higher today. It is. Maybe it's because we know we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> and we're out in the fresh air and there are so many so dogs. So many dogs. But the market was just so lovely. Yeah. We got four free bottles of Lipton iced tea. Yeah, they're, they're doing like they a promotion. Away. It's like, it's a new flavor. Yeah, here's our it's Lipton spun. Green, spun. green iced tea, mint and lime. It's pretty it's good. It's so good. It's so refreshing. Very refreshing. But now there's like a, a castle. I think it's called Black Rock Castle. Um, and I saw that you could walk along the water to get there. The walk is lovely. Yeah, it's like there is a road next to us, but I don't think we've seen a single car on no, it. I think it's blocked off. Um, so it's just, oh yeah. So it's just like a really shaded, beautiful walk along the water and there's a billion dogs and it's very nice. Yeah, and we get to leave our not so great Airbnb in the morning, oh, which God. is nice. It's nice to smell some fresh air. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually remember how much we said, but <laughs> it, it's not very clean and the host smokes out the back so the whole place just smells like cigarettes. I don't think he owns a vacuum. No. And then last night at like 9 p.m. he started painting something so the whole whole house smelt like paint. I was like we're gonna die of paint fumes here. It was insane. Yeah. We're very so happy we are excited to leave tomorrow. <laughs> but this has been a nice day. I feel like if you're if you're ever in Cork and you need to pass a day just look around the city and then walk to Black Rock Castle and back and yeah it's not really it's nice. it's a long walk well it's like an hour and 15 from the middle of the city yeah one way so it'd be like three hours return yeah it's really nice and you can go through the market and get lunch so yeah the market was really nice and it's open seven days a week I think and it's open till 8 p.m so yeah Definitely so very nice. It took us to our last day to find the things we like about Cork, but we did it. <laughs> you know, at least we've had the opportunity to find the things. Yeah. We did, um, we realised, I think the other day we said, like, we Googled and it said to spend, like, two to three days in Cork and one to two days in Galway, which yeah. is why we split it that way. 
we realized yesterday that we're pretty sure when we looked it up it was like spent two to three days in county cork yeah this is the like, whole county not just the city we didn't of cork know about island is that every city is in like a county with the same name not every city but, but a, lot a lot of, of them. them so like galway is in county galway and donegal is in county donegal and cork is in county cork and, and dublin's in county dublin yes and they so we didn't realize like, do all these things in county cork with a car go and see this and this and we didn't realize so we just booked three days in cork city <laughs> and you need maybe three hours yeah whoops but now Lesson we learned. know for next time and you know yeah that you do not need that long in cork no and if you do have that long in cork you now know what to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah we made it to the castle it's actually like a restaurant in yeah. the like courtyard I've heard um, it's a really nice cafe too, but we don't need food. Um, but it's very, it's very cool. It's a very nice castle. I like the stone it's made out of. I just tried to duck so you could see it. <laughs> there you go. It's really nice. It is really nice. And um, look, yet another dog. They're everywhere. Go back. <laughs> We feel kind of bad because we feel like the whole cork section has just been us being like, mm, we had cork. It's not cork's fault. No. It's just, just a bad Airbnb. Yeah. But like, ruined the vibe. Yeah, it gave a bad vibe. So. But we really enjoyed yesterday. The walk yeah. down to the castle and the market and everything. Yeah, the market was amazing. It was like probably one of my favorite markets I've seen. So yeah. there are some good parts. <laughs> but we also, we loved Donegal and Galway. Yeah. Um, those were beautiful and we would like we would go back there yeah. if we ever came back to Ireland. Um, but for now we are heading back to Dublin. Yes we are, just for a day and then we head back to the UK. You actually have already seen because the Dublin video is going to be up before this one. Yeah. But we're excited. We're excited to get back to Dublin and explore there again and hopefully have a nice Airbnb. I'm sure we will. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part of Ireland. Um, if this is the first vlog of ours you've watched, they're not usually like this. We're yeah. not usually just complaining the whole time. But yeah, give us a like and a subscribe. Follow along on Instagram. Yep. And I guess we'll see you in the UK. See you then. Bye. Bye. Traveling in the, the age of, I don't know, memes and TikTok is very funny because sometimes you can be in one of the most beautiful places in the world, the Cliffs of Moor, and me and Chrissy just cannot stop going, oh no, I already have a bottle of poison sauce. Damn it, TikTok.